Bitcoin just flashed a new bullish signal in the form of a charting pattern that is going to take Bitcoin to $130,000. Mark my words, whenever we get there, I want you to come back and make sure that you like this video and make sure you comment and say, hey man, thanks for telling me about the 130K Bitcoin. Is it going to take us a little bit to get there? Yes. Is it a cup and handle pattern, which is probably the second most bullish pattern minus the head and shoulders pattern? In my opinion, yes, you could get double, triple, quadruple bottoms that might be a little bit more bullish, but we're talking one of the most bullish patterns is happening right now on Bitcoin. And before we get into it, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. Boom. Bang on the notification bell. Comment anything that you want in the relevant sections. And let's get into why I think Bitcoin is going to 130K. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, show you everything so that you can see it from my point of view. Now, before we get into me sharing my screen, what I do want to tell you is make sure you go over to my other YouTube channel, okay, which is Drew underscore Wolfer youtube.com slash drew underscore wolfer because i am going to be migrating all of my content over there because for some reason i am of the volition i am being suppressed on this channel for you know some reasons that may be unbeknownst to me so what we're going to do is we're going to start fresh over there and we're going to start doing ta all the analysis that you like to see on this channel is going to be done over there and i will link that in the description below that way you know exactly where to go and find all of this stuff now let's go ahead and share the screen really quick so that you can see exactly what it is that i see because this stuff is about to get absolutely nuts, man. It's going to be wild. So here we go. And boom, we are good to go. All right. Now, with that being said, what I am seeing is literally a cup and handle pattern on not only the monthly, which is literally the most bullish one that you could see. Also on the weekly chart, and even on the daily chart. Now, I was screaming on my Twitter. And if you don't know uh, what my Twitter is, I'll show it to you x.com slash drew underscore wolfer if you go to x.com slash drew underscore wolfer i can actually get you this type of content much quicker okay because i literally gave you this this trade yesterday fyi this is where you short bitcoin it was at 73k okay now bitcoin has gone down to almost seventy thousand dollars at the low here today and literally you would have been in a really really healthy uh profit let's just say that and while we're at it let's just go to my other youtube channel at drew underscore wolfer Boom. This is my other YouTube channel where you will see all of the new content coming up. Bing, bang, boom. You will see it. No problem. Now let's get into the actual charts. Okay. First thing I'm seeing is Bitcoin on the daily has a cup and handle pattern. Okay. This is something that is extremely bullish minus maybe an inverted head and shoulders pattern. This is probably one of the most bullish patterns you can get besides like a triple bottom, right? So if you look at the monthly chart, you are seeing this form. Okay, here's the important details of this. And we're going to do, you know, some high level analysis here in just a second. I'm going to give you price targets. I'm going to give you entries and exits. I'm going to give you all that stuff. But let me get through this first so that you understand what a cup and handle is. Cup and handle needs to be at the recent highs. Okay, so if you scroll back maybe anywhere from six months, eight months, a year at the very least on these longer term charts, if you're looking at a daily, weekly, monthly chart, which is what we're looking at, you need to make sure that the cup and is actually from start to finish is near all time highs or the highs of that range, whatever it is, you know, six months, eight months, a year, right? I'm not saying that it couldn't have been higher way back here, but I'm saying within the past like year or so, it needs to be at these highs. We are. We started the cup at the all-time high. Then we set a new all-time high and ended the cup, okay, at $73,835 or some odd, something like that, maybe a few cents, give or take. So that is good news, okay? Then secondarily, you want the handle of this to be as literally horizontal as possible. As you can see, this one is pretty friggin' horizontal. If it's slanting upwards, it's not a cup and handle. If it's slanting super downwards, it's also not going to be a cup and handle. And the further down it slants, actually, the more it's going to nullify this pattern. Now, if this were to fall down here to where the low of the cup is, and it breaches this, this 15.5 range, it nullifies this entire pattern, but it would actually nullify it 
easily right here in the 45k range and more likely it's going to be in the 56k range because we would actually come down outside of this channel and we would say okay this is no longer a cup and handle so those are kind of the things that you need to know about a cup and handle secondarily for it to be valid okay secondarily you want to measure from the high of the cup to the low of the cup all right and then you can copy that and paste it over here and where that high is you can measure because that's going to be your breakout point until you get a candle that closes above this high whether it's on a monthly a weekly or a daily chart which we'll talk about in just a second you have to get through this right here and that resistance is at the all-time high, $73,835. Okay, so you measure from there. You take the stick, the wick, whatever you want to call it, and you measure from there. That's giving us $131,000 price target. That's pretty friggin' substantial. And that's going to be altcoin rally, baby. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking to see where the altcoins are also going to go. Because even though you're maybe only going to make like a potentially a 2x on Bitcoin on this, unless you're trading leverage, obviously, those altcoins are absolutely going to go bonkers. And we know that and we love that. And that's exactly what we want. Wolf for Finance wants that. We have FTM, Avalanche, we have Ethereum, we have Flux. We want all that stuff to happen. Now, you can see it's formed. It's, it's a very valid pattern. It's not going to be validated as a upside move until we close a monthly candle above this level right here. You can also see that it's valid on the weekly chart. You can also see that it's valid on the daily chart. So let's start at the monthly. In order for this to be validated as a cup and handle breakout, we have to see the daily or we have to see this monthly candle, which it actually closes today. So I don't think we're going to see this on the monthly chart and we'll probably have to wait until the November monthly close in a month's time. But you have to see this candle one of the monthly candles close above this resistance point, which is the previous all time high. So it has to close above $73,835. Same thing for the weekly chart. We actually don't close this weekly candle until Sunday, which is great news for us. So if this weekly candle closes above $73,835, which is that previous all time high, we are in a confirmation of that potential breakout coming, right? Same thing with the daily. You don't have to wait for the monthly chart or the weekly chart to do this. The daily is going to print that candle before the weekly is, or say it falls on the same day, they could print at the exact same time, right? So if a daily candle closes above this range, then we would see a breakout coming. And that is what is going to confirm the cup and handle pattern. Now, if we break down below this $55,000 range, that's going to be bad news for this pattern. And it's basically going to be nullified. So that's kind of your, your parameters and your rules. And I trade based on rules. Like there has to be rules. And I'm going to show you why these rules matter the more that we get into content on my new channel and stuff like that. And I'm going to tell you why these rules matter. But I also want to show you something before we get into where are we entering? Where's our price targets? Things of that sort. Because if you shorted yesterday when I told you to short, you're in the money big time right now. You can be taking profits and, you know, smoking cigars and eating pizza tomorrow on a Friday pie day, feeling good with your family going into the weekend. But let's talk about something that I see that a lot of people are going to do that I don't agree with in this market um, because it's not true. And I, and again, remember, I trade based upon rules. So here's the rules. A lot of people are going to say that this is a head and shoulders pattern. Uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern. And it absolutely looks like it is. This is the left shoulder. This is the right shoulder. They're pretty congruent with each other. The head is bigger than the other one. And, you know, the neckline is pretty friggin' straight, right? Here's the issue. This neckline is slanting upwards. For an inverted head and shoulders, it needs to either be flat or slanting downwards. And the more downwards it's slanting, the less valid it's going to be. The stronger it's going to be is the, the more flat it is. Just like this cup and handle pattern that we were talking about, right? So this is actually not an inverted head and shoulders. Now, say this was an actual head and shoulders where it was up here going, you know, here's the first shoulder, here's the head, here's the second shoulder, and it was slanting, this neckline was slanting up like this. That would be a valid head and shoulders, and it wouldn't be validated, obviously, until it breached the neckline and did not come back, and it didn't come back under that neckline because if it comes back above the neckline, then it would actually nullify that head and shoulders move down, right? And you would get out of that trade. But that's kind of my point. A lot of people are going to be saying this is an inverted head and shoulders. It's not. And if you go and you look at the rule book on these exact 
creating patterns and these charting patterns, you'll see exactly what I'm seeing. Now, here's the thing. We know that we're we're aiming for about $130,000, $131,000. But what comes before that, right? Well, first off, we have support right here. We have support right at the around $69,000 range. And we actually have support right here. Bam. And then we have some major support right here at the 50 moving average. If you let me zoom in on it just a little bit, right at the $65,500 range. So we could still be inside of that channel. If you look and you see exactly what I'm talking about inside of the cup and handle channel, even if we went down here to 65.5, we would still be inside of that channel and able to potentially close a candle above this, right? Wicks don't matter. It has to be a close above it. Now, once you get outside of this, can you come back and retest it? Absolutely. Hopefully you test it as support and then you blast off, but you do not enter until a candle has closed above this. If you want to be preemptive about it, that's perfectly fine. That's your trading strategy. That's your risk tolerance. Perfectly fine. I'm saying from a technical perspective, you do not trade this cup and handle until the breakout happens and potentially until you come back and retest this as support and bounce. And that's where you would enter because if it falls through this and closes, closes below it, it nullifies the pattern and it goes right back into this, you know, kind of like channel all over again. Now, here are the next levels, right? Because we're first going to be targeting $83,000. And then after that, we're going to be targeting $99,000. I'm going to show you exactly why we're targeting that. Okay. Here is the 2016 bull run to have a full extension on the 2016 bull run. And I'll even zoom out and go over to where that 2016 bull run start. If you take it from the low to the high of that 2016 bull run all the way up until December of 2017, you see these Fibonacci extensions and you see them holding up. OK, literally, we came up, tried to test a 3.816. 3.618. We got rejected. We got rejected again. We fell big time, big time. We came back down here to the 0.786 of the initial range, ranged back up, went to the 1.618, bing, bang, bing, bang, broke through it, tested the 2.618 yet again, kind of got a little bit rejected here, got rejected here, but then blasted through it, tested the 3.618, got rejected. And we've been bing banging, kind of bing bonging off of that for a while inside of our actual handle of our cup. So you will see this would be the completion of a full extension all the way up to the 4.236 at the $83,000 range. Now, even further than that, you're seeing a $99,000 price target if you go to the 2020 bull run, okay, you're looking at $99,000, all right? So our first target is going to be $83,000. After that, we're probably going to fall back down to about this level, retest it, use it as support before we leg up to maybe 99K. We have to get through that 99K range for all of what I'm saying to happen, $130,000. Obviously, 99 comes before 130, right? So $99,000 is a key psychological level, $100,000 level. That is a key psychological level where a lot of people are going to take profits because they're like, I'm not selling until Bitcoin reaches 100K, right? But what do we do after that once it breaches that level? Well, as you can see from this Fibonacci, we have another key range that is like 108 to about the 110 range. So you've got resistance here at 83. You've got another resistance at about 99. Then you've got resistance at about 109. Then if we measure the handle of the cup and we measure the up side of that cup, we can see that it was going to be about 130, $131,000 is our next level. And then further from that, we could get up to about the $147,000 range. Now, is all of that going to happen really quickly? It could. It's happened like that before where we've gone straight up, just parabolic, but I don't necessarily see it happening in a parabolic manner. I see us going up to the 83,000 range, coming back and using the previous all-time highest support, going up to the 99K range, coming back using that $83,000 level of support, legging up through to 110, using that 100K level, that key psychological level of support, things of that sort before we leg up to 130. You know, we pull back to 110, 115, we move back up to 147 before the run eventually kind of ends. And, you know, the run could end at 147. It could get all the way up to, you know, 220 or even maybe 175 is kind of what I'm seeing. I'm seeing 175 as being the uh, kind of like the top of it, right in, right in the middle of these two ranges right here. So that's essentially what we're seeing on Bitcoin right now and why I'm saying that 130 
is our target based off of just simply this cup and handle. But I'm also giving you all of the key levels where you can trade in and out, take profits, make sure that you know where the support and resistances are to sell and then buy back so that you can ride this leg up. Because a lot of times when you see these big levels happen, you will see the altcoins continue to pump and that's going to be extremely good for us. So with all that being said, hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit higher level understanding of where we're going. And obviously you need to watch all your other technical factors, RSI, uh, momentum, volume, your, you know, moving averages and stuff like that, because your moving averages will tell you, you know, what's going on, be used as support. You need to draw your support and resistance levels, your trend lines, all those types of things. But in most cases, when a cup and handle like this plays out, it usually goes, uh, you know, pretty close to where that target is. So with that being said, that's something that's probably going to happen into 2025. This is a long-term move, but I did want to give people that the ability to look into this and prepare themselves for it because I'm going to be trading this too. As soon as we break above that level and we come back and test that level, that previous all-time high or what is now an all-time high, but if we break it, it'll be a previous one of around $73,835. And we bounce off of that as support. I'm going to be trading that for a long-term position on Bitcoin to kind of ride it up. And that's where I'll probably think about starting to, starting to enter into altcoin positions to ride them up as well. With that being said, hopefully that's helpful to you. Hopefully you uh, liked this video enough that you're going to throw a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Boom. Bang on the notification bell. Comment anything that you want in the relevant sections. I will do a lot more TA in the future, but it will be on the Drew Wolfer channel. So make sure that you go over to the Drew underscore Wolfer channel and subscribe to that channel as well. Make sure you're following me on Twitter and I appreciate you for showing up to the video. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone.